So here's the tetrapanics. The one I covered up over winter. This is the old trunk from it. But it's looking looking really healthy. Uh, this is this plant I can't remember, I can never remember the name of it. Um, when you uh, rub your hand on the leaf, it smells like peanut butter. But this shrub never got any protection whatsoever. So that's the first of the tetrapanics. So that's the, the top. The shelter that I put over it. Um, I'm going to put these sticks back in because um, the sticks have been working out with the dogs. Usually they'll avoid the area with the the sticks so the way the dogs can be charging around after each other they'll just, if there was no sticks there they might just fly through those leaves and damage the, the top. So I'm going into the chicken pen now to have a look at these other two. You can see the way they're pushing up. They want to get out from under the plastic. Right, so here's this one. Um, good, healthy stem on it. Snapped one of the, the leaves coming out. Not too bad, it's only a, it's only a small one. Uh, so what I found out was because these are so uh, big and um, when you start to unscrew the little flaps down on one side and unfortunately it just uh, it broke this one here so what I did with the second one is I actually just cut the, the frame and pulled it up sticks and all so it doesn't actually fall back down on top. Much bigger leaves here. I don't think it's really going to matter. Um, I'm hoping they're, they're going to take off this year anyway because you know after their first winter I put in a lot of manure underneath these guys. So that's the tetrapanics. The plan I have for the tetrapanics is if I get pups off them and I want to plant them all around the field, plant them everywhere. And the wood in here as well. Um, that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Dogs are doing a bit of grazing. Look, three of them.